Hello everyone, welcome to the reading. This reading will be for Young Miami. I don't know much of her, but I'm gonna be using three decks. This first deck I'm gonna be using is gonna to be to see what is she like as a person? How does she operate as a person? What is her character like? How does she move? So this is definitely gonna be interesting. So the fact that these were face down has to do with her emotions. So she doesn't let things bring her down. You know, this hawk is all about rising like above any sort of drama, negativity. You know, she leaves it behind. It's kind of just like when bad things happen, she doesn't sit and think about it. She's on to the next thing. So that's a good quality. This is showing me she's definitely strong. You know, adversity doesn't bring her down. You know, it's all about sort of looking towards the future with her. That's a good quality again. This shows me she has a lot of power. She has a lot of earthly power and spiritual power. This is also showing me a lot of people are jealous of her, that encounter her. A lot of them are um, insecure and they definitely send her hate because of um, the gifts and the potential that she has. This is an interesting energy because this is showing me that sometimes she get nervous and she doesn't know how to move so she can uh, like stall. So let's say if she has a decision to make, sometimes she doesn't make like a quick decision. She's slow to act, which isn't bad. This is showing me that she's been through a lot as a person, which is interesting because you know, she's beautiful. So it's like, damn, like, but in reality, you know, that really doesn't mean anything too much. <laughs> but it's kind of funny, like, because I'm picking up, like, the vibe, actually, that she's been through some intense shit. So it's kind of just like, damn, really? But, um, yeah, she's definitely been through some intense shit, for sure. You know, but she has the creativity, and she definitely has the power, as far as spirit, to move forward. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't bring her down. It doesn't matter how many failures that she's went through that people don't see. You know what I mean? Even the ones that people do see, it doesn't bring her down. She's on to the next thing. She has a lot of wisdom, and she's definitely in tune with herself. What this wolf energy is showing me, she's been backstabbed a lot. She's been backstabbed by friends, from family. You know, a lot of jealousy around her. A lot of animosity. But spirit has equipped her with the spirit to be a lone wolf. To get things done. So it's like, yeah, she has a lot of um, misery and sadness and pain that's happened in her life. But this is showing me it's not bringing her down. You know what I mean? She's definitely alert. You know how like sometimes people can go through pain and that'll be it for them? It's not it for her. <laughs> What this scorpion vibe is showing me, she likes to get even. So if people do hurt her, harm her, make her feel a certain way, she's not one of those people that's kind of like, okay, I'm going to let it go and let spirit handle it. <laughs> you know, she definitely wants to get even. And even if she probably can't get even in her own way, she's definitely praying to the divine, like, most high, could you please let me get even? <laughs> so, I mean, that's a good quality to have. You don't want to be a doormat. But this vibe again, it's like, actually, that's actually interesting. I've been through all the energies. Okay, cool. <laughs> so yeah, this is giving me the same vibe actually, that she rises above any sort of like drama conflict, the same stuff, I already read this energy. So now we can move to her love situation. With this deck, I'm gonna be looking into her love life, her love situation. So let's see, what's going on in her love life? She's trying to heal. She's been through some fuck shit in her love life. So she's definitely trying to heal. heal. This is current. It has to do with the energy vampire. Someone was draining her energy. Someone was lusting after her, but they were low vibrational. They weren't trying to offer her love, like true love and true commitment. Let's look further. Yeah, the situation was awkward. It was awkward for her vibe. It was awkward for the people that interacted with her. It was awkward for the family. 
this person wasn't in tune with her energy. Let's look further. I don't know anything of her again. These are just the energies that are coming up. Yeah, this guy, whoever he is, or it could be a lady, you never know. But whoever this person is likes to play games. Yeah, it's kind of like, okay, I apologize, and, you know, would you accept? But this person has issues. Like, if you look at this guy, he has a sickness. So whoever this person is, is like a sick figure. They're into sick things. I'm picking up some very sick energy, you know. Would this create with me? She wants to work with this person at the same time, though. So she sees an opportunity with who this can be. So I don't, or who this, yeah, who this could be. Sorry about it, like, went dumb. I tell you guys, like, when I, like, come out of the energy, it definitely kind of, like, makes me dumb for a minute. <laughs> I don't have to, like, get caught up. But anyway, um, this is definitely showing me that she wants to, to be with this person because she sees it as moving her life forward or something that can enhance her situation. Let's look further. Her third eye is telling her the truth of the situation. You see how this lady's looking at red? She knows this person's off. Again, she's definitely connected spiritually. So, you know, it's definitely telling her like, yo, this situation isn't good for her. Yeah, because it's gonna get her trapped. It's gonna cause blockages. You know, it's going to have her stuck. You know, whoever this person is, they definitely keep trying to reach her. Like, hey, you know, I'm sorry. Like, you know, things weren't good. Let's get back together. Let's actually see if she's going to hook up with this person and get back with them. So this is definitely interesting. Nope, she's not going to get back uh, together with them. She sees red flags. So she's definitely aware of it. So whoever this guy is, or lady, whatever, um, she definitely is aware, like, shit's not right. You know what I mean? It's like all that red flag energy. So yeah, she's not going to be hooking up with that person. But she is going to be coming into happiness. The fact that she's not going to fuck with this person anymore is going to definitely open her up to a situation that will be good for her. But she has to come into her her hermit mode you know what i mean and she has to walk away because when she walks away that's when that good situation is going to happen you see with the whole give me space so it's just repeating the same vibe she needs to walk away from this person not deal with them and she's going to be coming into a love situation that suits her better so now what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be going into the tarot and we're going to be seeing what's going on with her as far as the tarot is concerned she's definitely manifesting you know what I mean? Again, I tell you that I told you guys that she's intuitive, she's spiritual. So she's definitely in that vibe for sure. And she definitely listens to what comes her way. The fact that this fell out. She's chasing money. You guys see the devil, right? <laughs> but yeah, she's chasing money. You know what I mean? Like, that's not a bad thing. You know, we all have to survive, right? But the fact that the devil is showing up. She has energies around her that wants to exploit her, get her caught up with an agenda. You know how that works, guys. You know, so it's like she has to be cautious of that. You know, she has to be patient. She definitely has to be patient and let the energies flow. She can't rush into a situation. Let's look further. I would definitely advise her to just be patient. You see what I mean? Because it's like, this is showing me some interesting energies because it's like if she rushed this situation, she'll definitely find happiness. But at the same time, she'll come into energies that's not so supportive. So it's telling me that she definitely needs to just wait, slow things down. I'm not saying she can't create or have any projects, but this is kind of like major decisions. You know what I mean? Major projects. She needs to definitely slow down because, look, there's some un... Um, how do you say it? Unhidden aspects. <laughs> that is one of those um, times, guys. Let me drink some water. Yeah, it's definitely some unhidden energies that she's not aware of. You know, but like, again, this all has to do with um, controlling yourself. This Knight of Cups. 
As you see this guy, he mastered the falcon, the hawk, whatever this bird might it might be. You know, it's all about mastering yourself, mastering the energies, letting the energies flow. So it's the same thing as telling her, just wait. You know what I mean? Not to rush into things, you know, even if it might seem like a good situation. Intuitively, she knows that she shouldn't rush into it. You know, it's not just like one of those energies because of fear. Like, you know, oh, I'm scared because of whatever reason. It's not that. Something in her spirit is telling her, don't rush, don't rush, wait, wait. You know, but again, she's definitely connected spiritually, so she's going to be waiting. Let's look further. Yeah, because she sees opportunity. She definitely sees opportunity, you know. There's definitely going to be some growth, you know. She's definitely aligned with making money. She's in balance. You know, she's not trying to abuse her money maker. She's trying to work with it. Very good energies. Let's look a little bit deeper. There's something, though, that has to do with skeletons coming from the surface. So, I wonder what this is about. Yeah, again, with the Ten of Wands. This is showing me that she's been connected to some fuck shit. She definitely has. And these skeletons... It's not a good look for her. She definitely has a lot of um, baggage. So it's funny because the reading was definitely like good as far as like looking into her energies and all that. But this is showing me she has baggage. It's some heavy baggage as well. I'm getting on like different levels from embarrassment, from shady, from spiritual stuff. You know, she definitely has some baggage, you know. And it's kind of like these skeletons are going to be made known or come out. So let's look further into, into that sort of energy and see what's going on. Definitely interesting. This kind of wanted to come out, but didn't want to come out. So it's like she's still in the process is what's being shown to me. You know, this isn't all set in stone. You know, it has to do with the decisions that she's making currently. You know, we all have a past. Uh, we all have, like, baggage and different things that we've been connected to or with that wasn't right or good. You know, some worse than others. So it's not like me judging or anything. These are just the energies. But this is showing that she's in a moment where it's like karma can ease up off of her, where things can be positive. But it definitely depends on how she's moving because this is about how, she, how you're, like, moving. You know, let's look further. Yeah, because she has a lot of passions with this King of Wands. This is definitely going after your passions, going after your dreams. But the fact that this tower situation came out, you know, she has to watch out with people. People have their own agenda around her. I would definitely advise her to watch out who she's talking to. You know, like watch out as far as people that know things about her, as far as dirt, because they want to use it for their negative benefits. You see what I mean? They want to get her trapped so she doesn't have nowhere to go. You know, because, yeah, she has success. You know, she has her talents. You know, she has some success. I'm not saying she's Beyonce or anything like that. But, you know, she's okay. She's not, like, working at, like, a bad situation or anything like that. You know, but this is showing me a figure that wants to trap her. This is definitely an energy that wants to trap her. It can be in the form of a person. And it can be in a form of just energy, just negative energy that manifests as different people, different situations. Let's look further. You know, but she's a warrior. She's definitely a warrior. So again, it's not going to bring her down. So this is definitely her energy. It's kind of like, okay, all this fuck shit's trying to follow me. Like, you guys are trying to do me dirty. Like, fuck that shit. I ain't going to let that shit bring me down. So that's good. You know what I mean? She's definitely in that air of change. So this is definitely her vibe because this was showing up earlier in the reading. Like she doesn't let things bring her down. So it's like, okay, I got a lot of like issues that I'm dealing with, but I'm not going to let it bring me down. So these are some good energies. I'm going to leave this reading here. It was definitely very insightful. And yeah, definitely press the thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed, definitely consider subscribing for sure. You shouldn't consider pressing the thumbs up button. <laughs> It's only common courtesy and decency, for real, for real, on some real shit. <laughs> Especially if you made it this far. It's like, if you made it this far, it's like, obviously, 
you've been intrigued somewhat. So it's like to just be like, okay, on to the next video. It's like, damn, you a hater? Shit. Press that thumbs up. <laughs> thumbs up button. But anyway, um, yeah, thanks again. Cool.